lumbar disc replacement surgery. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the surgery itself. So don't freak out on me, okay, you guys? So here's what the surgery is like. We make an incision in the front of your stomach to get to your lumbar spine. Remember, your discs are in front of your spinal canal and nerves, which are in back of it. So to replace the disc, we have to approach you through the front of the spine. We do that by going between your ab muscles. We do not cut any muscle. That's a no-no. So we go, your ab muscles run up and down and right in the middle, so you get an incision straight down from your belly button, about two or three inches. We go between the ab muscles. We open that and in there, is the intestinal cavity, which is, has a, a sac around it where all the intestines are kept. We do not open that and we don't touch your intestines. They're intestines, so they're guts and they're soft and they're mushy and we just push them out of the way. And we put a little retractor to hold them out of the way. The next thing that's in the way in the front of the spine are blood vessels, the big arteries and the big veins that go down to your legs and we use a vascular surgeon in our practice. Some doctors do it on their own. We move the artery and vein over and we retract those with specific retractors that hold those out of the way. Then we're looking right at the front of the spine. We remove your disc. We have curettes and instruments to clean out all the degenerative and injured disc and we take out all the disc. We clear off all the cartilage off the edge of the bone so you have fresh bone on the vertebrae above and fresh bone on the top of the vertebrae below. So they have clean bone facing each other. Now we have an empty space. That's where we center the disc. Now everybody is different sizes. So we have different size artificial discs because we are little people and we have big people and we trial your spine to decide which disc fits you. Once we've figured that out, we then make some cuts in the bone where we know we want to place it, and then we insert the disc in. There are different brands of discs, so they have slightly different surgical techniques on insertion, but basically you slide the disc in. We do this with x-ray or image guidance, and once we know the disc is located exactly where we want it, we lock the core, which is the center part for rotation, into place. And there, if there's any oozing bone, we have a special, it's called bone wax, that we wax any bleeding bone to keep it dry. That also helps prevent bone spur formation. Make sure we check all the veins and arteries, make sure there's nothing oozing or bleeding. Wash everything with some antibiotic irrigation, make sure it's clean, and then we take all the retractors out, everything falls back into place, take some final pictures, and then we close the fashion, hold the muscles back together, and then close the skin with the subcuticular suture. So no stitches need to come out, they dissolve underneath your skin. So you don't have to worry about stitches coming out later. And in 10 to 14 days, little stereo strip tapes come off, and your wound, you leave it open to air, and that's the end of it. We'll start your rehab later and talk about that in another video.